Is Chris Boyd right about Aberdeen? Do they lie down? Well, let's see what the meltdown has to say because there's a hundred comments pretty much. We'll go to news first. And 83% of you guys think that he is right, that Aberdeen do lie down to Celtic, but 17% of you think no. I can't wait to get into this. Can you? Let's see. De Derek Pickerton says. Every time they play them, Aberdeen only play against Rangers. It's true. Easily Abuse says they beat Celtic on the last day of the season a few years ago, so don't talk shite. Aye. And what was that and what was that for? What was that for, big man? What was that for? Enlighten me. No, that was for. That was so if Aberdeen won, they finished above Rangers. So of course Celtic lay down to them. Of course. So don't talk shite. And you know, let, let's be real, right? See, because Aberdeen have beat Celtic. I mean, Aberdeen, of course, have beat Celtic over the years. We're not, I mean, we're not saying that Celtic won every fucking game against them, but it's the evidence is clear. It's night and day that Aberdeen do nowhere near try as much against Celtic as they do against Rangers. It's factual. Janice says, Ian PL said they discussed this matter and most of the panel agreed. There you go. Martin Cosgrove says, Blue Specs. Russell Moore says, it's the standard for the sheep molesters to lie down to the sex offenders. They've done it days gone by the only pre-form against Rangers like most teams in Scotland lie down like little bitches. Damn. Alex Brown says, Sefco, sponsored by Kleenex. Hoo hoo hoo. Keep it up. Can't stop laughing. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking laughing, man. You know, Alex Brown's son. You're the one that's giving me that ad revenue. I'm the one that's fucking laughing. No you. Um, Joe9042, so do the referees and linesmen. Celtic via Aberdeen, one VAR call and zero offside calls. Compare and contrast to our game at Livingston. I mean, we can say that, but that's, that's, like, I mean, that's one game each. I'd need to see a trend before I start calling it the, the, the referees and lines. Oh, but Rangers, Rangers haven't conceded a penalty in 67 games. <laughs> Aye, dead on. Mercury says, keep those bun tears flowing. We love it. There's only one fan base that shows fucking tears, man. Paranoia. It's no paranoia. It's the truth. Another brown envelope on its way to Barry Robson and his players. Kermit. <laughs> Kermit. Kermit Desmond. Um... Mr. Freeland says, no, Celtic are just much better. Rangers should be beating them as well, especially at home. Here, yeah, we should be beating them at home. Uh, of course he's fucking right. Rangers, Aberdeen, sorry, hate Rangers so much that they would rather lie down a Pacific shelf and help them win the league than, than play them the same way they play. Once Celtic's bitch, always Celtic's bitch. The sheep love the tic tac fan, the tick fan, sorry, tickling their belly. <laughs> um, Edward says, yes, defo for years, sheep shaggers. A lot of comments here. GR9, Celtic obsessed with Rangers, lol. Let's see here. Bias a coffee, little EDL boy, Matty Miles. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm that many comments in. I was fucking wondering where this guy was. Uh, Kerry Smith says, Celtic fans come to Rangers posts because their own team's posts are all in Korean or Japanese. Uh, who's replying to this? Wit, half wit, <laughs> barkeep, pint of tears, please. Um, says you, you've been greeting all year. Penalty to Rangers, keep the tears coming. This one really hurt yesterday. Eh? We don't need two penalties a game. Um, GMP McIntosh says it was a poor performance by the Aberdeen, definitely not the flight, the fight they had against the Jers. If I was a Dons fan, I'd be raging. They just gave up embarrassing. Brian Mullen says, typical pens after pens, free passes to three points, and they're complaining about the sheep. No team in the league has beat Celtic. Even Rangers lie down at home for Celtic's B team just a few months ago. They blame everyone but themselves. The Scottish League is so corrupt, always has been. Sure, that's how the old Rangers won their titles, by cheating. Anyway, second best is all you can hope for. Right, big man. Cheating, that's how Rangers won their titles. What about getting COVID fucking titles gaff, you know, gift wrapped it, man? I mean, that's... Ah well, who cares? There's like seven games to go. Just give them the league title. I mean, that's that's a cheating title. Make no mistake about it. There's 32 replies here. I, I'd love to go in, but I really cannot be arsed. Um, we'll read a few more. So when we pumped the Sevco in December, the argument is null and void. We've already done you at Castle Grey Skull. 
fuck what Aberdeen does. You try best us, shower of fucking mongrels. Pure pish. Guy likes his wee dots, doesn't he? Break up his sentences. Chrissy boy. The sheep give Celtic 12 points every season. Clients. That's what everyone says. Do the firmly rely doing for Rangers? Remember the, f oh, the Sutton. So what if Sutton was wrong on out of order? So was the fat pie muncher. <laughs> Yeah, did them firmly lie down? Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. They? Don't think they lie down. I think they're just really that bad a shitty team of bottlers. I would just love every team in the league who would do that to them as if they've dodged the too long. Them and their supporters aren't good enough. Like, like, I'm not suggesting it's match fixing, right? But they clearly don't give a fuck when they play Celtic compared to when it's Rangers. And it, it's night and day. And I think it's such a small club mentality if you can't get up even remote, like, in any shape or form. Like obviously, Rangers are going to try, well, they should be trying their hardest against Celtic, but Rangers should be playing, I want Rangers to be given 110 every week. I don't see the same energy for Aberdeen fans. It's almost like they're all right, we're getting pumped 6-0 by Celtic. Oh, as long as we, as long as we get a wee result against Rangers. It's fucking sad, to be honest. John Fento says, absolutely they lie down. They never tried a leg. Even Celtic sports were slating them for the lack of effort to compete. A real shocker. Robson should resign with any decency left. Yeah, and that's where we're going to leave it. There's a lot of comments. It's all the same pish. But you know what? I like talking. I'll put up, I'll put up some more polls here. But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, peace.